Alright guys, today we're going to make a solar oven. You can use an oven like this to cook basically anything outside as long as you have nice bright sun. So I'm going to go ahead and show you how to do it. Total material cost was under $20. The boxes were about 10 bucks total. Um, this uh, space blanket they call them, uh, reflective uh, blanket there, like 5 bucks or less. And then you need some black uh, construction paper or black paint. Now I thought I had some best I could find was dark forest green in my garage. Black is what you should use, but for the point of demonstrating, I'm going to go ahead and do it with this. So I'll show you guys step by step what to do. First thing I'm going to go, do, go ahead and do is put the boxes together and show you how we should have them. So let's go ahead and get the boxes taped up and I'll show you the next step. Alright guys, so I have a 12 by 12 by 12 and a 10 by 10 by 10 box. I went ahead and cut off the top folding sections of the 10 by 10 box. And we're going to use the uh, fold-off sections to attach um, each one of these fold-offs to make it a little bit bigger. This is where we're going to attach our, our reflective surface. So that will make it a little bit larger area. Now this big box is going to be used for insulation a little bit. So I'm going to take some of these peanuts here and we're going to get a bottom layer. It's kind of hard with one hand to get a lot at a time here. And basically what we're going to do is we're going to get a bottom layer here that's, you know, about an inch deep or so. So I might go ahead and pour some of this out if I can. Let me go ahead and see if I can pour it. There we go. So now we've got a nice thick bottom layer. Now we're going to go ahead and put in our 10 by 10 by 10 box and just compress it a little bit. And now I'm going to fill up the sides with peanuts as well. So let me go ahead and get that done and then we'll come back and look at the next step. So now, as you can see, we have it all insulated. This is going to be our cooking section right here. So we're going to have the uh, sides bring in the light, and then this will be our cooking section. And we want this section to be a dark color, um, preferably black. So now we're going to go ahead and paint this box black, or put some construction paper in. You could do that first before you build the box, you know, whatever order you want to do it in. But we're going to go ahead and make this a dark color now, preferably black, but I'm going to be doing green for today. Alright, so now I've gone ahead and spray painted this uh, dark green. Like I said, black would be better. We got our insulation, and I've also gone ahead and attached my uh, heightening, the extra box parts. So I just taped it on each side, and it's holding on just fine. If you put the flat end to the flat end, it works pretty good, and it's stuck on there good. So really simple, this is taking almost no time. Our last step now is to add the reflective coating, and then we're pretty much done. We go ahead and fig finish the last step here. Alright, so halfway done with the wrapping, just wanted to show. You want to get this as flat as possible. This one I got pretty darn good, it's a little wrinkly up here, but the flatter the better. You could also use something as simple as aluminum foil or tin foil, but I find that these blankets might be a little better than using tin foil. So you can see how bright that's shining off even inside here with basically no sunlight. And uh, just gonna finish up the other two once this is all put together, it's pretty much all there is to it, except what I'm going to do when I use it is just take a piece of tape from here to here to hold these at the angle I want. I don't need a permanent solution, but I could just angle them, put a piece of tape running from here to here, just to hold these to the angle I want to hold them at, because I'll probably want to keep them about an angle that's going to get the sun in the best, maybe 45 degrees or so. So that's pretty much it. Let me go ahead and finish it up, and then we'll talk about it a little more. Alright, so here we have our finished product, and as you can see, we just have the uh, reflective surfaces, and then we got our cook box. Now in our cook box, you're going to want to cook inside of a container, uh, some type of oven safe container, uh, preferably a dark colored one, not, not like a white one, because that's going to, you know, reflect light. So if you've got a dark colored uh, container that you put in the oven, that'd be a great thing to use in here. I've got um, a crock pot insert that is a, a dark, uh, kind of dark brownish ceramic kind of color, but dark. So I'll probably use that in here. Uh, the one thing that I wanted to talk about, getting a little bit of a fuzzies it looks like on my screen. One thing I want to talk about is I did go ahead and use this um, foam wrap. And I've seen online lots of people use uh, shredded paper. You might want to use shredded paper. I went ahead and used this foam wrap peanut stuff because I feel like it'll give better insulation. However, there's a chance that it might melt. Um, so I'm just going to have to test that out and see. If it does melt, 
you know, I'm going to have to just take out the inside box and just redo the inside uh, insulation with paper. But you can use shredded paper out there. I went for the peanuts just to see how they work this time. <coughs> and I'm, <coughs> I'm not going to cook on it right now. It's winter. It actually just snowed. Uh, it's actually March now, but it just snowed. So I'm going to have to wait to actually try this out. And um, I'll give you guys an update when I try it and see how these peanuts do. Um, but otherwise, like I said, just use shredded paper if you're worried about it. Because shredded paper is not going to, you know, melt. So um, there we go, guys. Very simple to make. And all we have to do now is when we go outside, like I said, get these at about a 45 degree angle. And just to get them stuck there either by using a little tape or you can even put a stick. Attach a stick here running to the ground and just have the stick hold it in place. You know, when you're camping, you can find sticks real easy. So real easy, all you got to do is set those up at the right angle. So just wanted to show that. There it is. It's just a 12 by 12 box, 10 by 10 by 10 box, and a real simple and cheap solar oven. So get it tested out, and we'll have a video on it in the future. See you guys later. Happy camping.